Hello, cuz. Have you ever had a hole in your shirt? I see some of y'all raised in your hand. Yes, yes. I feel like we've all been through that. Have you ever wondered how to fix the hole in your shirt? Or have you ever did things like throw your shirt away, place your shirt? Okay, I see some of y'all raising your hands and just bought another shirt. Okay. What? But what if I could teach you a better way to fix the hole in your shirt and keep the shirt that you love and cherish? So today in class, we will be learning about the importance of sewing. We also will be talking about the ways that you can do different stitches as well. And we also will be creating a headband at the end. So to begin, we need to learn about sewing safety. Sewing safety is very important because how can you sew without knowing the basics of how to be safe while you do it? You're already working with a bunch of dangerous objects, so it is important to remember these tips. Okay, so the first tip is to start slow. The second tip is to use the right equipment. And what I mean by that is don't use dull scissors. Make sure you're using equipment that you know is going to be trustworthy and you're not going to be able to hurt yourself or others. The next tip, number three, is to make sure your pins go on cushions. And the fourth tip is if you are stressed while sewing, walk away. The least you want to do when you're sewing is be stressed and have shaky hands and end up hurting yourself or someone else. And five, remember sewing is dangerous. It's always important to take the right precautions when you are sewing to ensure that you're keeping yourself safe. Okay. The next thing we will be learning about is types of stitches. Have any of y'all ever heard of any of these stitches below? Running, back stitch, and blanket stitch. You have, you haven't, okay. Jeremiah, why have you heard of any of these stitches? Ah, okay, so no one in your family knows how to sew, you weren't introduced to sewing. Okay, okay. Uh, Claire, what do you have to say? Oh, you have. Okay, you've learned about some of these stitches. So first we're going to be talking about um, running stitch. And here I've provided a, a demonstration kind of little picture. I hope y'all can see that. Let me make sure. Okay, so a running stitch is just... Um, it should look more like a straight line, like this. So, let's learn about the characteristics of a running stitch. So first, you uh, use this stitch if you want to sew something quick. You also use this if you want to make something gathered, give kind of that uh, whooshing effect. The other thing is when you're doing this stitch, you will be going over and under. And I know this is kind of hard to explain, just like with a photo or with words. So I have required y'all have to make sure that you um, use these resources as a means to help complete your assignment. So the first resource you will be able to, you will have to view is on YouTube. It's called Hand Sewing Basics and here is the full link. I will be making sure that all of y'all are using these resources. And, oh, you, uh, Jeremy, yes, you will um, be viewing these videos in class. And then the website that you'll be going to as well for the headband portion. I know we haven't gotten to that yet, 
but I need to go to MaryMarthaMama.com. Basic headband tutorial. Okay, so let's go back to the types of stitches. The first stitch, or the second stitch, is a back stitch. So it's going to be kind of like the first stitch of running stitch, but it's going to be going back. So when you start in the beginning, you're going to do like you're doing a regular running stitch, and you're going to start here. This is your first stitch. I'm sure you all can see that, and I'm going to make these darker too. Okay. This is where your uh, first stitch stopped. You're going to go back on the stitch. There you go. So, as it says here, normal stitch start second one where the first one ended. That's how you do a back stitch. And this stitch is going to be a little bit more secure than doing a running stitch. Running stitch is just what I've said before, it's a quick and easy stitch. The back stitch is not even more complicated, it's still very simple, it's just one more step, but it will ensure that your headband is nice and going to last you. And you can use these tips as well when you are finishing um, trying to sew like your shirt, something of the sorts, and then you can tell your parents that you learned how to sew. The next type of stitch is a blanket stitch, and it is going to be kind of more of a loop. And I know all of y'all have ever seen these if you have a blanket and you notice how it has kind of a loop pattern like this. That is called a blanket stitch. So for this one, you'll sew two edges together and insert a needle and pass through the loop. And you will Pull this together and you'll create a blanket stitch. Okay. So now we will focus on the fun part, materials. So let me just go ahead and erase this. Uh, any questions, y'all? Um, you, Jessica, is this going to be an easy assignment? Is what you're asking me? Um, I would say... The difficulty level is it's pretty easy. It's going to be a beginner lesson. So, so let me erase this real quick. And let me switch markers. Okay, so for materials, can any of y'all answer what materials you think you will need for this assignment? Uh, Raymond, uh, you said a pin. Okay, uh, anyone else? Mm, anyone want to take any guesses? You, Jessica, uh, you said you can't have a pin with no um, needle, so make sure you have some needles. And what is the needle missing? Okay, I hope y'all answered y'all no. And thread, needle, and thread. Yes, that is correct. Anything else? Fabric, of course, fabric. So I will put that one down. And I will be telling y'all what uh, measurements you need for the fabric because. Yeah, Easier for y'all beginners. It's going to be 20 by 
five inches. Okay, so we have pin, needle, thread, and fabric. Anything else we may be missing? Can anyone guess? Uh, Jessica, you said when your mom sews, she uses a marker. And that will be correct. That is the last step. So we have pin, needle, thread, fabric, and a marker. And before we continue, I have a demonstration of how your headband should look. So this is how it should look. Very plain, simple headband. So okay. So this is how y'all will create the headband. So this is the how to portion. Okay, so first we'll cut your fabric. Okay, 20 by 6.5 inches. Okay, make sure you're using your materials, your marker, you will need scissors as well. Okay. Now when you cut your fabric, you will use, you will lay it inside out. So make sure you can't see the piece of design. Okay, then you're going to sew it as shown. And I'm gonna do a demonstration. of how to do this. So this is your fabric and you have folded it over. So remember that this is folded over. Okay, folded over piece of fabric. You will use any of these types of stitches, running stitch, back stitch, blanket stitch, you get to choose. Okay, for this I'm going to Use a back stitch, so creating ones. Okay, so you see right here. Okay, this red box is going to have no stitching, so you will tie this off here. So tie that off right there, and then you'll some more here. And then for step three, so let's see. Also wanna ask y'all, does any of this make any sense? Okay, yes, yes. All of y'all are understanding what I'm down. So that is good. Okay, so I'm gonna use black for this so it's easier to see. This is step three. It's gonna be in black. We're gonna sew the ends together. Okay. Okay, so after you sew the ends, you're gonna turn this, you see where this hole is? You're gonna flip it like the right way. You wanna make sure you can see the pattern. So let's just say, this is the pattern part. You're gonna flip it so you can see the fabric and it's or the pattern and it's all over the whole tighter tire headband. Then you're going to sew hole. Okay, so you're gonna sew the hole. Right there. So then it is a complete headband. And when you're done, 
again, I'm going to show you all this. Should look around this way. So, how to complete the assignment. So, this is how you complete the headband part of the assignment. As well, I'm going to mention again, make sure you use the website for clarification. I want y'all to be able to use this website so you can go back and rewatch the different steps. Or, yes, rewatch the different steps. And same as for the stitching, so y'all can rewatch it because I know I'm doing a demonstration right now, but I feel like it will be a lot more helpful if y'all can go back. As well, I want to talk about make sure you remember your importance of different um, stitches. You are going to make sure you create your headband, and as well, Make sure that you are remembering the importance of sewing. So for the assignment, you complete this and you will turn in a page of what you have learned, what you can improve, and your sewing safety list. And I hope you all enjoy creating your very own headband. Thank you. Oh, you have a question? How many points will this be due? It's going to be a total of 100 points, but if no more questions are needed, have a great day.